man. You think we're the first to see that, Nate? They're just not going to believe this. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! 5 6 Henry to Shalmeta, flying into Arajuno Station back within the hour. Copy that, 5 6 Henry. Weather clear. See you soon. Over. God can do anything, anything. A what? A clearing, Jim. It was amazing. Tell them, Pete. Several large houses and, and, and about six smaller ones all around it. An Alka settlement? The Indian tribe we've been trying to find. Where did you say it was? By the banks of the Kudarai, Ed. It's 15 minutes by plane. 20 at most. But that's just right here. I say we make contact with them. Wait, guys. The Alkas have killed anyone that's ever been near them. Remember the oil company people? Just what? A couple of years ago? Four men surveying after weeks of being in the same area. Bueno, yo creo que lo que debe... Rogelio! ¿Qué pasó? ¡Aucas! ¡Sus escopetas! ¡Corran, muchachos! ¡Cuidado! ¡Atrás de ti! ¡Por ahí! ¡Cuidado! Ah. ¡Mario! ¡Mario! Oh. ¡Corran! Speared all of them. I say go slow, one step at a time. I agree with Pete. We make contact, but slowly. I know the risk, fellas, but man, the opportunity. These people have never ever had the gospel, an unreached tribe. I say, with God, nothing shall be impossible. And I say we keep this to ourselves. We speak about it, and it's likely to get out of hand. We may never have another opportunity like this. Hush, hush. Except our wives. Other than that, not a word to anyone. And if it be our loss, may it be to God's glory. And the Alka's salvation. I'm in. Operation Alka? Yeah! yeah. It's beautiful. Quiet. Peaceful. It always is up here. It was not always like this. No. There was a time when we lived in fear. Fear? Ah, yes. Fear of the foreigners. Fear of even those in our own tribe. A time when we were killed, and when we also killed. A time of darkness, before they came. Jim? Yes, Jim. And Nate and Pete, Ed and Roger, the men God sent to show us his ways. God had put it in their hearts to search for us. Okay, face off, you guys. Okay, stay on your toes. Circle, circle. Don't get too close to the edge here. All right, drop down, drop down. There you go. <laughs> Out of shape, Elliot. You gotta go. <laughs> Not a chance, Nicole. <clears throat> yeah, okay, good move. It. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Ooh. So who's Blue Trunks? You got it. All right. Jim Elliot? <laughs> Believe me, honey, you're wasting your time. Here we go. Keep moving, keep moving. Right. So, you won the National Public Speaking Contest, huh? You think you're just the greatest stuff, don't you, Macaulay? You got a lot of talent, huh? 
Where do you think you got that from? Hmm? Yeah. I'll tell you where you got it. Get off of me, you... Yeah. God gave it to you, McCully. So what are you gonna do with it? Make, make money for yourself? Huh? You ought to be a missionary, Ed. And I'm praying God makes you one. Okay, Jim. You've made your point. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Grip's getting better. That's gotta hurt. So, Jim doesn't date? Single. One track, Jim? One, One track, track, mind. mind. <laughs> <laughs> for the mission field, that is. He'll be single forever. Think about what I said, though. Maybe after law school. You become a lawyer, and you'll be doing what someone else can do. But not many people are answering God's call to missions. Think about it, Ed. <laughs> Then onward on the hills of light, our hearts of love aflame. We'll vanquish all the hosts of night in Jesus' conquering name. What time is it? Almost there. Too bad Ed couldn't come witnessing with us. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. What happened? Dead. What? Dead. Dead. C come on. Swell. Come on. What's that noise? Come on, come on! Step on the gas! Step on the come gas! On. Get out! Wow. You fellas all right? Yeah. It's the second time. What? First time I almost got killed was on a hunting trip when a bullet grazed my head. God's got something ready for me yet. Dad's gonna kill me. That's the car we're gonna take for the mission trip to Mexico next week. Now how are we gonna get there? Mexico was a way for Jim to work for God, outside of his country for the first time. And well, they found a way to get there. Mister. Y más adelante, el, el arca de, de Noah. No way! <laughs> uh, gracias, señor Ron. Y el arca de Noé subió y subió en, en la agua. Y habrá, y a, a, habrá... Bueno. Eso, eso. Pero Dios ayudó a Noé. Y Noé y su familia rescatados. Brilliant, Elliot. <laughs> okay, okay. Está bien. Uh, otro. <laughs> Goodness, he's picked up some basic Spanish quickly. How long has he been here? Six weeks. Hordes of determination. Tell you one thing. What's that? Jim Elliott's a resolute young man. That boy's going places. India? You want to go to India? Or South America. I'm really not sure. After being here, I, I'm i thinking that God may want me to work there. A Dr. Tidmarsh and I have written each other, and he works with Indians in Ecuador. So, I'm praying. Well, you make a great teacher. Folks could really use you in the States. Maybe, but I just don't think it's what God wants of me, Ron. Folks in the U.S. have it all the time. Almost too much. What I'd really like to do is work with people that have never heard the gospel. I feel God is calling me. To leave everything? Home? Country? Once you go, you may never come back. Are you sure? Sure? Not yet. But one thing I am sure of, Ron, is that he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep. 
to gain what he cannot lose. He'll make the way clear when the time comes. Look at that, Ron. Here we are, you and I, just abounding in God's goodness and looking up at that fantastic sight. And somewhere, in some part of the world, that same moon is shining down on someone who knows nothing about him. Maybe someone that has never even heard about God. Someone who doesn't even imagine God. Wherever that person is, that's where I want to go. Boto Mempo. The poor thing is troubling. Kento. Tenonte ponda bopa. I can't understand a word she's saying. Boto Mempo. Found her here this morning, you say? Si, senor. En Auca. Auca. That tribe is so savage, they're feared by all the others. We've never been able to make any sort of contact. Of the friendly kind, you mean. She seems to have run away. Yes. Well, she's terribly frightened, whatever was the cause. Poor girl. Dr. Tidmarsh will be very interested. And how is the good doctor? Oh, busy as usual. They left for Shandia this morning, which is where I'd better start heading. Señor! Muy amable, Don Carlos. Señor! Con mucho gusto. Sí, señor! Dr. Tidmarsh! There has been an accident! Hmm, a letter from Dr. Tidmarsh. My dear Jim, I need to know if you are seriously contemplating coming to Ecuador, as we recently suffered a setback. Uh, having boarded a missionary plane to return to our base, it crashed not long after, and my wife was injured. We can no longer care for the work we began, and we need someone to come and work among the Quechuas and reopen Shandia. Ecuador. Dear Dr. Tidmarsh, I am on my way. My dear Jim, wonderful news. I hope you and your friend Pete Fleming like water. You'll be at sea about 20 days. And I'm sure that upon arrival, Kito will seem another world to you. Now you'll have to learn the basics of Spanish first, about six months of study, which you'll do in the capital. Aquino, necesito ir a la oficina de correos. Un poco más adelante. Ah, bueno, me hubiera dicho, señor. Vamos para allá. And then you'll be ready for... Shandia. will need rebuilding, and I will not stay there long. You will need to learn Quechua. Tend to basic needs. <laughs> Clear land for an airstrip. If Quito seems like a different world, Shandia will be a different universe. And be sure, Jim, that as you are obedient to God, there will be tests. Many tests. Ucha! Ucha! Wasi 
Saturday, August 1st, 1953. They say it was the worst rainy season in 30 years. For 36 hours, we dismantled the house and moved barrels of material non-stop. Our language notes, five buildings, the kids' playing field, and 100 meters of airstrip. A year's work, gone. I knew there would be tests, but Hardly anything like this. It's hard to understand what God is doing. Shandia is no more. Yayapa, Shuripa, Ushaiya, Espiritu, Pastipi. The time of reaping. Yes. In the last two weeks, they've just been so open to the word. Twenty in Dos Rios, Pano the same, and here in Shandia, about a dozen more. It's amazing what God has done in one year, isn't it? Like getting Macaulay to the mission field. Uh huh. And one track Jim getting married. Miracle of miracles. <laughs> Pete, honey. <laughs> and there's my miracle. Coming, hon! Not your usual church, huh? But a live one. Isn't that the truth, Ed? Isn't that the truth? Okay, folks, get ready. Hun, come right on, honey. Here. Come on, squeeze in a little. Okay, come on. Come on, pose and smile! So, Jim wasn't alone? Oh, no. God called others who were serving him. Jim prayed for help. God sent it. God had a plan. Nothing here. Hang on. What? Hang on! What was that all about? Over there, I think. Yeah, look! Where, where, where? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they're just not gonna believe this! Woohoo! I got just about enough fuel to get back, Pete. It's Auka, all right. I don't know how we never saw it before. You know what? This is what it's all about. I feel as though this is what God has been leading me to all these years. I say we attempt communications. Sounds good. How? Weekly flights. With gifts, we can drop them in a basket just like we do for other missionaries. And some phrases. In Auka, how? Dayuma, the Auka girl that escaped her tribe. Never met her, but have heard about her. You guys go for the flights, and I'll get some phrases so we can show them that we're friendly. See anything? Not yet! They're there. It's just a matter of time. Vito emite wa ponemo. We are your friends. Thank you, Dayuma. You've been very helpful. You want to meet them? We want to try, Dayuma. Do not trust them. They will appear friendly. And then... Then? They kill. The men were patient and persistent at the same time. They prayed. Their wives prayed. We... We were afraid and hid until one day. Let me try calling again. Pito, Irina, Imopa. 
Pito emite wa ponemo. Dayuma kewinga. Dayuma ay ay kewinga. Pito emite wa ponemo. Praise God. There's one. Pito iringa imopa. Pito emite wa ponemo. What are they doing? They got it, Nate. Ha <laughs> ha! We're getting a gift. Ha ha ha! Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. God! Time to plan the next step. So we're in agreement. Roger Udarian joins the team. We trust your judgment, Nate. He's got experience. He's a lot more jungle savvy than the rest of us. Okay, so January third, you fly us in one at a time with the prefab treehouse. Ed, Roger, and I stay, and you and Pete fly back and meet us in the morning and out again in the evening. And we use the radio to stay in contact with our families. Hi, Daddy. Speaking of which, <laughs> woo! Supper's ready, guys. Jim, I'm frightened. Don't worry. We're in God's hands. What if? Honey, all my life I've tried to be obedient to what God has called me to do. We can't stop now, just because there's a bit of danger involved. I know, but but you won't do anything silly, will you? I promise. Imopa Pito imite wa ponemo Pito Pito iringa imopa Pito imite wa ponemo Pito iringa imopa Pito emite wa ponemo Kore tumba ponta monipo Try it again, Pete. Pito giringa imopa. Oh my. Whoa, slow down, Jim. Slow down. Poinani! 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 Beat! Beat! Poinami! 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 Kori! Roger! Roger! You? Poinami! To iringa imopa! Kori dei di! Praise God, this is great. Nate, are you getting this? Nate! Huh? What? Are you getting this? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Ed! Hey, Ed! Huh? Show him the cockpit. Okay, sure. Hey, Pete. What's up? Let's tell him about the landing strip. We can't keep using this one. It's too sandy. So the plane lands. Ouch! Boom, bang! Hits the trees. No. no. Trees out of the way. Good landing! Yay! Yay! Way to go! Puto ay ba gente goy? Pogoro go gino mampa. Kori, puto imote ay ba gente goy? Pogoro go gino mampa. 
is he saying what I think he's saying? I think he is. It was a special day for the missionaries, a day they and their families had been praying for. Among them was joy, but among our people, fear. A new friend stayed till the evening after a full afternoon's visit. Pete and I are back in Arahuna for the night. We're thrilled with such an answer to prayer and trust God for further visits in the next few days. God bless you there. Over. Well, we're so relieved to know that all went well and that you're safe. You're certainly in our prayers and we look forward to more good news. I love you, honey. Good night. Two days and no movement. If they don't come out here in five minutes, I'm heading out to their village. Hold your horses, Jim. Give them time. Wait a sec. I, I see something. Let's see what we have here. Woohoo! <laughs> Get ready, boys. They're on their way. All right, fellas. Let's get a move on. We got company! Woohoo! That's a <laughs> time! Thank you, Lord! Finally! Finally! Looks like our neighbors will be here for early afternoon service. I'll be right back in touch with you at 4.30. Over. That's wonderful! We'll be standing by. In the meantime, you're all in our prayers. Over and out! Can I say hi to Daddy? Oh, sweetie, he'll call back at 4.30. Hi, Daddy. Faith is a victory, faith is a victory. Oh, glorious victory that overcomes the world. Whoa! Hallelujah, guys. This is the day we've been waiting for. How many coming? Seven, maybe ten at the most. Sounds like a welcoming committee to me. I wonder if we'll go to their village today. Nate, your camera. Got it right here. Well, this is it. Raj, what are you doing? Taking notes, man. This is historic. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Uh, 3.05. They're here! Welcome! Welcome! Boy Nani! Boy Nani! Boy Nani! Boy Nani! Boy Nani!
But why were they killed? We were afraid. We thought they had come to trick us and kill us. So we did what we had grown accustomed to. We ended their lives. Later, years later, we found out they had weapons. But they did not fire on us. They did not fire. When Dayuma later returned to our tribe, she told us more about the men and why they had come to visit us. We realized then that unlike others, they had not harmed us, even when they had guns and could have. They were different from the other foreigners. We had watched them from afar. Later, we understood love and forgiveness, for they gave their lives willingly for us, just as Jesus did before them. A few months later, Gemeliot's wife, Elizabeth, and their daughter, Valerie, and Nate Saint's sister, Rachel, bravely came to our village. They forgave us, and through their forgiveness, we learned to forgive, and through their love, we learned to love. Through their courage and prayers, we came to know God. Five men died. Five women and their families forgave us. Some of us, including some of us that had killed the men, found God and became Christians because they were obedient to the God they loved and brought His light to our people. Elizabeth Elliot and her daughter Valerie lived and worked among the Alcas for two years, later to become a well-known author. Mary Lou McCulley set up a home for missionary children in Quito. Olive Fleming later returned to the United States and also wrote her account of the story. Barbara Udarian returned to work among the Hivaros, where she and Roger had previously labored. Marge Saint took up a new missionary post in Quito, and Rachel Saint, Nate's sister, remained with the Alcas until her death in 1994. No longer known as Alcas, the Quechua word for savage, the tribe is now known by their real name, the Wauranis. Steve Saint, Nate's son, continues to work among the Waurani to this day.